And we continue now with our great, great American panel. All right, here's my new hero, Joan Rivers, goes absolutely nuts on President Obama. I think you may enjoy this. Roll the tape. In terms of government, what we're seeing now is this uh, share the wealth philosophy, this redistribution of wealth. This, uh, yeah, really uh, thrilled about that. Go yourself. Yes, actually, I was. Can I be uh, any, any clearer? Well, hey, you know, go, I go worked for it. all my life. All my life, no one has given me a penny. I have paid every tax, mm -hmm. the whole thing. And, uh, I pay my way, and I'm, I don't want to give money to a third-generation welfare family. Sorry. Mm -mm. Go out and go to work. Nearly half American households don't pay income taxes. That's right. At, right? And half, half do. And when you look at the polls, half are happy with the tax system, and half are not. So you can figure out who, who's supportive. Is American, have we mentally conditioned Americans to have a mindset that we want a nanny state. We think the government's going to take care of us cradle to grave, womb to tomb. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what you're seeing across the country now after the last presidential election is a real buyer's remorse for the idea that we need more government spending, we need to bail out people that haven't been able to be successful in the marketplace, and we can we can tax people, somehow tax our country into prosperity. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You know, one of the things, uh, look, you're, fr you're friends with Chuck Schumer. Pretty liberal Democrat. One of the things I'm He's most not fearful. Too pretty, one I don't of the think things I'm moderate, but go ahead. <laughs> one of the things I'm most fearful of. We every time we look to the government to take away our fear and guarantee our health care, there's no social security lockbox. Medicare's going bankrupt. The country's got trillion dollar deficits, as far as the eye can see. Whatever happened to individual responsibility, work hard, play by the rules, you know, take chances in life, risk and reward, the things our parents and grandparents came to this country for, it's, it's evaporating. But everything you just said, you know, has been here for, for, for time immemorial. This, this, new, this is the new, nothing has gotten worse under Obama. Let's, let's, let's be clear, there's been no yeah. massive redistribution of wealth. The health care bill that he... Are you out of your mind? There has in New been... York, 60% of your income, state, local, federal tax, goes to the government. 60 and it's going 10 percent higher next year. You said there are it, people that are, what, what happened to hard work being hard working these there are lots of hard working Americans in this country that right now there aren't enough jobs for them. It's not that they don't want to and work. And why it's is that? Can. Because because industry is afraid to invest because of the high confiscatory taxation. Yeah, that's Listen, let me, let me tell you about my background. The Obama administration, not to say I that he's right in everything. I delivered newspapers. I scrubbed pots and pans. I waited tables. I tended You're bar. preaching to the choir. I did I've everything in construction imaginable. And you know what? I never thought I had the right to any Anybody else's money. Ever. And I'm with that's you. Right. The I'm entrepreneurial you. spirit is the only thing that's going to get us out of this ditch. Investors are not creating new businesses and new jobs. They don't know what the tax rates are going to be. All the Bush tax cuts are going away. The health care taxes that came forward. All this new banking regulation and all these taxes they're talking about. Investors are scared out of their wits yeah, and they're, they're not, not doing anything with their money. You know, what, I'll give you an example. People don't want to work, and that is not the case with well, everyone. You know, be not, not with everyone, but with some people, and that's that's just a fact. If people make choices in life, but when you not live in a free society, you get to not make everyone can be. Let me give you an example. I think everyone can be successful. I think I don't think, I don't you think everybody can, I can be successful. I wish it was like everybody that. Everybody can be successful. How will we judge success? Exactly. Well, let, me give, let me give you an example. That's an idealistic Here, way right, of the looking at things. The Clintons are multi, multi millionaires, right? Bill Clinton has a brother. His name is Roger. Roger Clinton has a daughter. The daughter apparently is getting food stamps. And I contend that liberals are only generous with other people's money. That's what I contend. Why can't the rich Hillary and rich Bill take care of their nie niece and send her to college? They should. That's what I would do if it was my well, niece. You know, listen, you're right. I, I, nobody could, could tell somebody what to do with their money. He's a cheapskate, like Biden. Yeah, but if it's his family, and, I understand remember, what you're saying, but you're to you know, one Bill person. Clinton did not come from money, so a lot of times when people don't come Excuse from money, they, they, they are new he to got money. How, he gets how much speech? $250,000 of speech. He can't afford to spend 100 grand and send his niece to college, but, he, but he'll support every tax increase. He's generous with our money. I'm not, uh, Miss Liberal. I mean, uh, hey, don't call me Miss Liberal. You know what? <laughs> These mental gymnastics you try and do yeah. aren't going to work with me. It's very fun, though, I must say, yeah. especially with all the lust I have in my heart for you. <laughs> I can't control myself. But, you know, I, I definitely I think tell. this is why I love America. I'm an American citizen. This is why I came to this country. I believe in working hard and not taking from someone else. I don't believe in that. However, you're saying right now these people want welfare and handouts. And they do. Are, in California, where I, where I live, you know, it's 10% unemployment right now, which is insane. 12, no, it's actually 12.6%. Well, then it's who's gone, I'm sorry, numbers. Right. Okay, it's gone up. Numbers but. mean something. But let, but let me ask you this. Do you think America's overtaxed or undertaxed? It depends who you ask. I'm asking you. I asked you the question. I think I probably should be taxed more 
and there are people that should right. probably be taxed more I'll than me. I'll make a deal. We're going to put a special checkbox. What do you agree? Liberals can pay more if they want. Yeah, no one's <laughs> no one's preventing them from hey, writing a bigger check. What you call a tax? There's a lot of regressive taxation. Are in we this over country. or under taxed? I think that we are about right taxed. All right, that's it. Coming up, ESPN's Rick Riley takes on some of the most outlandish sporting events. That's next. Straight ahead. Chlortrimeton. Hey, one dose of this, six hour relief. Chlortrimeton.